Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer and we are up to the Sagittarius spread for the month of September. Let's see what's going on for the Sagittarians. Okay, Sag. Okay, the first card you have is the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which means you could be feeling a little bit unstable when it comes to money, or you could be maybe a little bit miserly, which is not really a Sagittarian trait, but you could be um, kind of afraid to spend money right now for whatever reason. And then you have the 10 of Wands, which means that you're feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, feeling stuck, bogged, weighed down. This is totally not a Sagittarian feel. Like Sagittarian usually aren't like this. But every once in a while, life comes down on all of us and we feel like we just can't get out from underneath it. I totally get it. You have the Ace of Cups, which means you have a new offering of love or a new beginning. Now, this of course could be a new beginning with an old partner. It could be an old partner and you take it to the next level. A new beginning, your boyfriend and girlfriend, you move in together, you live together, you get married, whatever it is, it's a new beginning and it's a good thing. So let's see what else we have going on. You've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Swords. So the Six of Pentacles would be feeling in reverse like you're putting in more than you're getting. Maybe you feel like you're doing more of the relationship and the other person isn't stepping up to the plate. It's sort of funny for Sagittarian to feel like that because usually Sagittarian are accused of that. But anyway, if this is what you're feeling, like you're putting in a lot of effort, and they're not putting in enough, it's causing some bickering there with the Five of Swords. However, you've got the Three of Pentacles upright, which means things will start to come into balance and you are gonna see some cooperation here. Then somebody betrays you. So this, now, because up until we get to the uh, Cups, this whole reading here doesn't have to even be a love thing because it's showing pentacles and a lot of pentacles it could be something that's going on with work and it has nothing to do with your love life yet so maybe somebody at work does something kind of slick and you feel like they've betrayed you and stabbed you in the back because the past and the present in this reading look all about money or career or it could be something job related now when I say money it could also be like some kind of family finances. It doesn't always have to be a work thing. It could be somebody in your family owed you money and they didn't pay up when they said that they would or you felt like you gave more money to the gift and somebody else gypped you. Whatever it is, it's feeling an imbalance and you're feeling like you didn't get what you deserved. But I don't feel that that part has to do with love. Now we're going to the love part, which is in the upcoming future. And you've got the Empress and you've got the Death card. So, don't worry. The death card doesn't mean death. So the Empress is Venus. It's also the mother. So some of you may be having a child. Some of you may be getting married. Death is transformation. So once again, underneath the cups, the Ace of Cups, up until this point, we forget about the cards that were before this. This right now looks like what's ever going on that's bothering you. We're not worried about that affecting your love life because in your love life here it looks like it's moving forward venus you got venus here you have a motherly figure it could all it could be an engagement a child a transformation the death is a transformation your relationship ends as boyfriend and girlfriend you wind up getting married now you start a new beginning as husband and wife it's definitely moving forward and transforming into something better in my opinion that's what i think and the money stuff that's going on is a different issue all right, Sag, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, share us with your friends, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.